What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Knowledge Bomb. Boom! Episode 432. All right, today we're going to go over, I'm starting to add some push-ups to my GPP after lunges to try to get my bench press to an entirely different level. And I want to go over the style of push-up that I'm executing. Now, this is partly because it mimics my bench, partly because it's the way to keep my shoulders safe and to engage my lats and my upper back. So, if you guys have seen, I don't bench like this. A lot of big benchers understand this anyway. They bench like this with the bar crossed. It activates your lats more, it activates your upper back. It's almost like a diamond push-up, right? Now, what I'm doing is going a little bit wider. And so the best way to showcase this, if you got your shirt off, it's about the width of your T-shirt, roughly. And then what I'm doing is sets of 10 and 20 between 100 and 200 reps. I did 200 reps the first day. And so what I'll do is make sure that my upper back and triceps are locked and really have intention on pressing with the tri and upper back. So I'm loading my tries right there, almost like an elbow out press. And then boom, load, press, load, press load press and so it's really mimicking the bench press so i can support crazy weight get a next level total and my my idea is if i can adapt to not only the rotator cuff move at about 150 reps a day for five pounds and then this around 200 reps a day Matt Winning put out something really interesting the other day, he talked about a thousand reps of GPP is about what it takes to be elite. 800 meters of lunges is like 700 reps. I'm um, doing 150 reps of rotator cuffs, that's 850. 200 here, that puts me over a thousand of things that are gonna contribute, hopefully, to me attempting at more elite level powerlifting. This is Knowledge Bomb, episode 432 how to do push-ups with more GPP after your lunges. Peace.